Hey, and welcome back to A Boat Good Wander. Well, it's been a good run. This is the third update I've done in, in a few weeks, so try and keep up the momentum. As I mentioned last time, um, we're ready to laminate the bottom of the keel. And as you can see with Wanda, she's got a tent up around her because Rob's been busy uh, beavering away here with a grinder, better him than me, um, to prepare everything so that um, both of us can do the laminating because it's really a two-person job. So it's brilliant that he's been able to come here and do that preparation um, because, you know, every hour I've got is very limited. So both of us will do the laminating. They're big pieces of cloth. Um, it's a two-person job. We should blitz this in two or three days, I think. So let's have a peek inside here. Uh, sorry about the background noise. I've got the warp drive on full, trying to warm up a little bit. Oh, wow, look at this. So we've got a bit of heat going on here. Uh, very nice. It's all very clean. Um, so this has all been fed a little bit. Uh, now look at the bottom here. This is great. Let me see if I can find what it used to look like. Yeah, that's looking really sweet. Now if I look from here, I can just see a little kind of dip down the bottom there. This is where it was basically went all the way through to the, um, I think iron, there's iron ballast down here. Um, so a little bit of a curve there, but maybe it's still being built up, but it almost looks like it's ready for, for laminating. So same for this side. Sweet. Right, back in the bilge again, but um, this is different this time. This time I'm actually going to start putting things back together in the bilge and starting the process of repairing. So, so far it's all been pulling it apart and prepping it. So first step is to get into the uh, far corners where there's two areas that are both um, fairly deep. There's sort of deep dishes that have been scalloped out. That's where the tabbing met together and the uh, diesel concoction was able to get under that tab and sit there and it just basically created a bit of a stink. So um, I took all of that out and it's left about probably three or four, maybe five mils deep. So I want to laminate that first. I don't want to build it up with filler. Um, and then I can start to, well, that's the first step in laminating the inside of the bilge. So I'll show you what I mean. It's hard to get down here, but basically in that corner and that corner, uh, okay, so let me get started before my epoxy goes off. Okay, before we get down to doing the laminating, I just want to have one final sort of clean up of this section. This is the bow area, and this very front part, which should be pretty round, is actually a little bit like a 50p coin. Um, it's had the sort of round corners ground off a little bit by the grinder. This is a fairly thick filler here. I'm using the high density filler with some colloidal silica to make sure it's nice and strong beneath the waterline. But it is a little bit difficult to work with. It's quite thick and sticky and um, it's not at all easy to sand, but you know, we're not going for perfection here. We're just going to uh, try and get a little bit more shape back into it. Um, and then I'll sand it back and we can laminate this up probably tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. We'll let this harden today. It's nice and warm in the tent. 
and um, yeah, I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. It'll take a little bit of sanding back, but um, it should be fine. Okay, so we had quite a good day yesterday. I mean, it was a long day. We probably spent about six hours laminating, maybe seven. Um, so, which took a little bit longer than I thought. We've got one more layup to do today. So everything's just um, curing in there with some peel ply on. We'll take the peel ply off. Um, just get rid of any uh, sharp edges and put this third layer down. Um, so uh, I'm using 450 GSM uh, biaxial. Um, I always like the triaxial and the 600, but I thought it was just a little bit too uh, thick and difficult to, to, to ensure that you get a good wet out, particularly when we're going underneath that um, bilge, you kind of like can't really see as nicely as you can when it's you know a wall in front of you. So the 450 is just a little bit safer in terms of getting a really good layer, getting all the resin through the cloth. Um, yeah, so yesterday we did 16 pieces of cloth, um, so there's basically four sections along the, the keel and each section has got one, two, three, four, five, six overlapping, so this is the, the fifth and the sixth overlap that we're doing. Um, so that means that there's six layers underneath the bilge, which will yield about um, three millimeters, I guess, of, of laminate. So that, that should be fine. So this is the last one. I've enjoyed the laminating process, but I'll be glad when this is finished because it was a pretty long day actually. And underneath the bilge, um, you've got the, the uh, cradle. So you kind of like ducking your head in and crawling through those spaces. It's, it's actually quite physically challenging. Um, and this will mark the end of a, a significant piece of the project really and you know frustratingly enough all I'm doing is going back and completing the repair from 2003, 4 whenever it was that when Wanda hit the reef. Uh, you know and the guys just should have done this but instead they just got some of that fill around patched up. Anyway, okay, let me get this on and we'll have a quick look in the tent so we can see what's going on. Okay, so this is nice and warm in here. I've got a little bit of heating on and just this tent has kept it quite warm. Let's do it. This is the best part. Right, there we go. A bit of a ridge there. It will need a little bit of fairing afterwards to get rid of the seams and stuff, but it's looking really solid.
well that's the end of a pretty tough uh, session actually finally finished that laminating now let's take a look yeah so it's actually been quite difficult working under here having to like step over all these beams and then watch out for these uh, parts of the cradle and a lot of obstructions and always going back and forth out the back of the tent but um, it's finished that's it uh, 24 pieces of cloth on uh, nicely restored to its better than original condition actually this will be stronger than when it came out of the, the mold because it's all epoxy with a, uh, a bi-actual weave cloth which is of course not what they laid it up with okay so the next time I come back we're going to take a look at that skeg and um, try and refit the rudder um, and then once that rudder's done getting pretty close to getting the the um, beneath the waterline ready then there'll just be <coughs> copper coating the underneath and um, then the hull's done. That's, that's amazing actually. So yeah, it's probably gonna be about four or six weeks till I'm back next. So, you know, hang in there, keep watching and uh, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.